Hello. Today we're going to draw a character. Yes. And what character will that be? Well, look at this screen right here. This guy. He is the uh, guitarist of this band called uh, Winds of Promise. And I'm making a video for them. And so, you know, let's begin with uh, a little bit of like his features. Just kind of study his features. So, you know, that way, you know, when you draw it, because you, you're going to be drawing it kind of fast. Everything has to be simple. And, um, and when you draw a character based off of uh, somebody's pictures, and luckily too, these uh, pictures that they provided for me, are there's plenty of them. Um, I've got all this, I've got that, I've got that. I mean, it shows his guitar and everything. So we'll start, go ahead and start drawing him here. Um, if I'm talking, I'll go ahead and slow it down, but I'll go ahead and try to go fast. But first off, I gotta, I gotta put a, a new layer. See, there you go. I test out my pen. I make sure I have the right pen here. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay. And I have it set at 30%, see? And then um, let's start drawing. I'm gonna draw him like facing this way, like facing that way, like in a 3D way. And he's got a Gibson, which he plays kind of like in an angle, as you can see right here. So you want to take on that type of personality, you know. And maybe he wears shorts. Maybe he likes shorts. So let's give him shorts. Maybe he plays like this. I don't know. Just do it all simple first. You know, this is like third grade level sketching you know you don't have to you don't have to make it all you don't have to make it all detailed see as you can see I'm just kind of like I'm just kind of like winging it you know making a character for him he's like wearing shorts you know so let's start detailing the face kind of like just visualize in your head like and then just kind of project that face onto this but in a cartoony way and then you start coming up with like some you know, he's got the big eyes here he's got huge eyes I just hope there's no interference by the way because I have a lavalier mic here and I can't I can't hear what the hell what the being inputted into the into the camera until it's done so I'm not sure what it's gonna sound like I hope it's gonna be good otherwise so his face is starting to um, take shape here Give him like a brooding type of look, you know that that rock star type of. So when you draw this, you don't have to be all like the, you know, the hand. starting to take shape now we're getting we're getting pretty close to like detailing it if I'm already there uh, get rid of some stuff here that I stuck in there so this is this is just for the uh, the client to see what I think and that way they see what you know that it's gonna look like Joe. Yeah, again, you know, you know, he doesn't have to look exactly like him. As long as it has an essence, you know, that's you capture the essence, you know. And part of it too is gonna be the uh, the animation part, which is gonna come in later on. But right now we're just sketching him out. 
and you just kind of have to hope that the uh, client will understand this you know some clients would be like oh my gosh it doesn't look like them you know it's like hey it's a cartoon But a lot of times though, my clients are pretty cool, pretty easy to work with. So he's got like this lip thing going on. So that's what's kind of distinguishable, you know, with him, with Joe and his nose too. So that you definitely need to like focus in on. You don't want to. You don't want to obsess over it, though. Just kind of do it fast. There. It kind of looks like I'm. Something's going on with the eyes here. And of course, you know when you draw them. When you when you're drawing somebody's likeness, you want you don't want it to look offensive. Funny, but then not offensive. You know what I mean? All right, so I think I pretty much captured him. Maybe just needs to go up somewhere. Up. Yeah, that's pretty close. So now I just have to detail it. Like I said, I hate hands. And I tend to want to draw three fingers all the time. I don't know why. Something ever since I was a little kid or something, ever since I drew the human body, I've always had trouble with the hand. I don't know why. Sometimes it's, it's hit or miss, you know, and then sometimes I'll draw it perfectly. Like this piece of crap right here. Okay, let me, let me focus in on his left hand. Because there's so many parts to it, you know, there's like four or five fingers. Okay, so let's let's not obsess over his hand. Let's do his shorts now. His legs. My camera keeps on clicking. I don't know what's going on. I just hope it's not shutting off or anything. Yeah, these guys are like heavily in a punk rock. So I'm into like you know metal and stuff like that. So they want to give it like a skater punk type of a look which luckily I'm familiar with because growing up I was a lot of I was around a lot of skaters skaters and punkers okay so and I'm pretty familiar with what a Gibson looks like it's got this there's like a little switch right here put that in there volume controls are over here okay this looks messed up right here let me try and redraw it. it doesn't have to be perfect but it also has to look like a, a guitar you know so there there's that um, there's Joe Foster Hopefully they like it, and I'm gonna go ahead and send it off to them. Oh, I still have to do the drummer. That's the most difficult one because I hate doing like you know unnatural shapes or non-natural shapes like you know drum set. Organic shapes I like because they're easy, but like straight stuff like you know like a guitar's neck you know that's kind of hard for me or. Circular. What's up, kitty? There's our cat tiger, by the way. He's the boss. And see, there it is. Joe Foster, the guitarist. I have him in there. I have, okay, let's turn that off. That's Mike, the guitarist, or the bass player. And then there's Joe Nelson, he's the singer. I'm going to send it off to them, see what they think. Alright, get off, get off kitty. Peace.